Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch Demon Slayer season 3, episode 6. If you want to see my reaction videos about all of the first episodes of this season 2, but also my entire binge watching of Demon Slayer into the chronological order and stuff like that, I'm gonna put links into the eye so you can see that if you can be interested by these videos. As you can see, I'm really excited today. I don't know. I woke up really like, I'm really excited. And I'm also really excited to discover this new episode of Demon Slayer. Like really for me, the last episode was perfect. Like truly, the fact that they mixed all of these memories, flashbacks, and through that, you know, all of these explanations, new information, and they made all of that during action moments and all, it was so well done, you know, it was so well mixed, written. It's so cool, you know, like normally into animes, into shows, they are taking one episode to make explanations, reveals and stuff, and they take one episode to make a lot of action moments, a lot of fight moments and all. And during the first season, Demon Slayer made that, you know, most of the time. So right there to mix Memories with flashbacks, explanations, actions, fights, stuff like that. It's so great. So the last episode was so great for that, but also for the beautiful moments that we had, like that last scene. It was the last scene. That scene with Tanjiro, you know, attacking the three demons of Upper Four like that, using the raging blade, the burning blade, the red blade. <laughs> Like that because Nezuko did that because maybe Nezuko she knew that it would happen that It can happen, you know that thing with her blood on the sword like that One of you told me on the comments maybe it's because of the fact that she has memories of Muzan And maybe into these memories she found that it can be true, but it can be also maybe like for Tanjiro who has memories of the Weirder. She has also memories of the Weirder. Like if Tanjiro, he has these memories because he is one of the descendants of this Weirder and all. It's the same for Nezuko, you know, same blood, <laughs> brother and sister. So maybe it's because of that. You know my theory, you know that I think that this Weirder Fault Muzan. Like we had also that that information during the last episode because upper four demons from upper four watching Tanjiro like that with the raging blade, they saw the wielder because they had access to that memories from Muzan. So for me, all of these demons, you know, they have Muzan's memories, and Tanjiro and Nezuko, they have this wielder's memories, you know, they have access to it. So that's why Nezuko, she knew about the blade, she knew about putting her blood on the blade, so it can transform like that. And these demons, they saw Tanjiro like that, and they saw the wielder. My theory is that wielder tried to fight Muzan, and he had a black sword during that moment, it didn't succeed, like, no, it didn't work. And after that, Muzan transformed him into Upper One. And when he became Upper One, because he had that blood now, you know, Muzan's blood, you know, in fact, touching the blade, it's transforming it into the Raging Blade. Like, maybe, it's more something like it's Muzan's blood which is making that or just a demon blood which is making that oh yes it has to be a demon blood because if it's Muzan's blood which is making that it would mean that Nezuko she has also Muzan's blood so she would have access to Muzan's memories also she would have access to all of the memories in fact Nezuko had <laughs> no 
No, no, she has access to the wielder's memories, and the wielder, he knows that, he knows about blood on it. It's making that demon's blood, not Muzan's blood. Yes, I really think so. For me, it's more working like that, you know. It's that theory, this world there became a pearl one. After that, he knew about this blade, which can become the raging blade through blood, you know, on it. And Nezuko, she has access to his memories, so that's why she did that. And she can have access to his memories because, like Tanjiro, she's one of his ancestors. And and that's it. <laughs> oh, and we had also during the last episode some memories from Tokito who is beginning to remember stuff about his life. And for me, one demon attacked him, erased these memories from his mind. We saw also maybe a little of his mother, I think. And little by little, he's gonna remember more about his past because of Tanjiro, who said that first line to him, you know, the fact that you have to help people because at some point it can be useful and no matter what, they are weaker, so you have to help them. And it reminded him something and, you know, it opened the door to all of his memories. So I really think, you know, that in each episode, Tokito is gonna remember more and more who he is. And I have good hope that at the end of this fight, he's gonna know who he is and he's gonna have feelings again, <laughs> you know, he's gonna have emotions again. Like Tokito, you know it, what I think about him, like he's a good fighter for sure, but the fact that he has no emotions, he's really reacting like that, it's making it hard for me to connect with the kids. For sure, I'm interested by his story, for sure, I think that he's amazing when he's fighting and all. But to connect with him, it's a little harder for me. And I think that the more we're gonna discover about him, the more he's gonna have feelings and the more I'm gonna involve myself with the kid. It could be great, at least. <laughs> See? I'm really excited. That intro was a mess. I know it already without editing it yet. I know that it was a mess, but yeah, I'm excited because see, we had so many informations, reveals, memories, I have so many theories also, and we have so many amazing moments, like it looked so great what Tanjiro did at the end. I don't think that Genya, you know what happened at the end of the last episode? We have two things. Maybe it can be a demon, something like that, and it would explain the fact that he can heal that fast and all. Or maybe he was poisoned, you know, in fact, by the demon, that number four of upper four, <laughs> that he attacked, you know, through poison, through something like that, and that's why this demon was smiling, in fact, and it would explain also the fact that a four didn't die yet, not really, because they were not killed at the same time and no matter what, Genya was contaminated, poisoned during that moment. Like, I don't think that right there, that's it, they resolved the situation with a four. they managed to kill him because without knowing it, you know, without coordinating their things, in fact, Genya killed that demon at the same time that Tanjiro was killing the other three. I don't think so. So we're gonna have the fight which is gonna continue and Genya, Genya being like that, we have that possibility that he's poisoned, but I don't think so. And we have that possibility that, not that he's a demon, but that maybe he has some abilities like the demon. And again, I mean, since the beginning, I'm searching for his ability as a demon slayer and for me it has to be something to explain you know all of the scars that he has and the fact that he can heal that fast like demons so it's something related to that more than the poison situation in my opinion we'll see and i'm gonna see that right now let's go for this episode remember that if you want your my patreon on which you can have this episode earlier one day sooner and with an extended offer action part, I think that so far 
I put almost only four reaction parts. Like this episode of Demon Slayer, we began so, so quickly, you know, to have fights, to have big moments and all, that it's really rough for me to cut into it for YouTube for sure. So for Patreon, like I'm letting you all of the four reaction parts. And yes, for YouTube, I'm forced to cut that much, to play with opacity and stuff, just so you can see this video, you can have access to it on YouTube. So if you want really everything that I wanted you guys to see, it's on my Patreon. You have it also sooner and it's the best way to support me. It can be not only appreciated, but also really useful. I had some difficulties this last week. So if you can come on my Patreon, join me on my Patreon to support me, even if it's just, you know, for the time of Demon Slayer of this new season, it can be great. Okay, let's go for this episode! <laughs> yes! But uh, are you sure that you did it at the same time? The fifth demon? You have to feel it! You! The real platform, you know, the one that we are used to see, in fact. I uh, was thinking, you know, it's really symbolic. He's protected by his emotions, that demon. coming first second you're talking too much third is really great you can do it Oh, 
Et it was Sanemi younger, you younger, people who died. To protect the family, maybe something like that. Are you gonna be attacked or something like that? I'm worried for all of these kids now. Don't, 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 don't. was forced to kill his own mother. Even the, the one you had in your arms! It was your mother. Oh, 
regenerate, you can regenerate, you can regenerate. <laughs> Oh, we can see screw you again you're like a it's gonna stop there fuck you and now a funny, funny scene to end I'm frustrated I cried Like I care, like I care! I care maybe about just one thing, the fact that you never saw him eating with all of what we just saw and we can understand through these scenes with his mom and all. That's another information, you know, to, to confirm the theory about the demon situation. I don't know what I want to talk about first. The fact that I'm really frustrated about this aunt, or the fact that they made me cry. For sure, I want my hug pillow, you know, like. <laughs> I think that the frustration is winning. To finish like that? Why? You know, okay, it's a raging blade, you know, the blood on it, it's burning, all of that, but why this blade would manage to kill a perfor like that when the other blade didn't? Okay, again, it's a different blade, uh, more powerful and stuff like that, but can it be enough? I'm not so sure. For me, you know, when they presented the fifth demon, in fact, for me, it's not the fifth demon, it's the real demon, it's really a perfor. And even, you know, what he said himself, he said that he has his emotions outside to protect him, you know, younger, stronger, and out there to protect him. So for me, he is a real deal. You know, he's not the fifth demon, he's really the heart of everything. He is a real a perfor and he had his emotions out. If you can't kill him just like that, maybe it's because you have to kill his emotions first and then he's gonna be weaker, you know, and you can kill him. And you know, for the symbolic of it, I find the symbolic more interesting, in fact, if I'm thinking of it like that, you know, to have a demon who is creating demons who are representing his emotions and that symbolic of having your emotions out to protect you. You know that I'm an emotional person. I talked about it several times, you know, in a lot of videos, the fact that it was rough, you know, for me to deal with my emotions, to be diagnosed, you know, as an emotional person, meaning that I have high emotions, I don't have little emotions. Like what you are seeing, it's just 10% of the intensity of my emotions inside. These reaction videos, you know, that are helping me with my emotional side, you know, to, to, <laughs> to let my emotions out and stuff like that. But in my regular life, like really, people can see just 10% of my emotions inside. It's a mess, you know, it's a chaos. And for, for that, you know, because of that, that thing, that symbolic, the ability of this demon is to have his emotions out to protect him. The symbolic of that is so cool. So yes, for me, it's that you have to kill the, these emotions to be able to kill the demon. And again, that symbolic could be cool also. Maybe I'm totally wrong with that and I'm going too far with that interpretation. But I think that the symbolic stuff and all would be cool. I did not expect at all to have that big flashback with Genya. Maybe it's logical, in fact, because with how we finished the last episode, for sure we needed an explanation about what is happening to, to him. We did not have the explanation really, but through a lot of things we can understand what happened to him. Like right there, he was like that, you know, uh, the teeth, all of that, and being able to regenerate like that and all, because his ability, it's connected, you know, to a demon situation 
through his mother because his mother was a demon or just was like him with this ability. That's what we can understand, you know, through all of this flashback. That flashback was awful. Your background is awful. I mean, the background of Salemi and Genia is awful. Genia, he was with all of his siblings. He, he was supposed to protect them and they all died in front of him into his arms and after that he, he, he found his mother dying like that killed by his big brother as a kid you know it has to be traumatizing okay after that he understood that it's because of the fact that his mother was a demon and in fact Sanemi doing that was protecting them and it's also so awful for Sanemi to understand all of that, you know, to realize that his mother killed all of his siblings, that he has to take away his mother, that he has to kill his own mother, to have his own brother who don't, doesn't understand that and who is calling him a murderer just like that. Uh, it's traumatizing for both of you, even more because you made that promise that you would protect your mom and your siblings a total failure after that Sanemi he became an Ashida and Genya what he explained about it you know like he became a demon slayer so he can just he, he wants also to become an Ashida so he can see his brother prove stuff to his brother it's awful Really, all of this background story with these two, it's awful. I mean, it's awful. It's well written, it's beautiful, but it's so sad. It's making me so sad. Ah, they had me, I had some tears. I was so shocked during all of it, but at the end, they had me. Even more, you know, because we saw that Genya was giving up and Tanjiro intervening to tell him to not give up, to continue to fight, that he can become a... And Ashida, you know, telling him that he would support him no matter what and that he would protect him. And you know, into that memory we learned that he didn't manage to protect his mom and his siblings. So for Tanjiro to tell him during that moment, I'm gonna protect you, I support you, go for it. You can become an Ashida, you know, to support him and to protect him. For sure, Genya, he would be like, no, I'm gonna be the one protecting you because he didn't succeed to kill a four, but also because he's made, you know, like his thing it's to protect and even more with this ability, you know, being able to regenerate like that but right there, like, can he regenerate? like, it's gonna take time the, the, the boy has horse into his body we can see through his arms, through, through parts of his body <laughs> He has arms into his body. Like, okay, he can regenerate, but that much? Ooh. Maybe not that fast, you know, this time. Nezuko was amazing. Nezuko fighting was amazing. Truly. I was so scared, you know, when... Oh, Nezuko. Tenjiro also fighting was so good. And the fact that these demons, they can see it and they can appreciate it, you know, in a way like... Oh, saying stuff like oh that demon slayer is so fast he's so good and all like really they can appreciate how great tanjiro is we had a little of tokito and the fact that he's fighting a perfect you know the vase demon i'm not worried about that situation is it weird like okay he's really into a bad situation right there he's truly hurt poisoned and now he can't breathe he's into water and all and i'm not worried about him is it weird? Because I know that he's really great. Because I know also that the love of Sheila is coming. Because I know that we need to learn more about him. So it's not the end for him. <laughs> oh, all of that flashback with Genya really whew, took me by surprise and really uh, took me like uh, I'm still into it and I have trouble, you know, to think about something else that happened during this episode. But your mom was a demon 
for me she was already a demon before you know and a demon or she had that ability and that's why you have now that ability it was through her through her blood she had that ability before having you and that's why in fact you never saw her sleeping it's because of the fact that during the night she was a demon you know she was going out and oh she didn't kill your dad their dad was really violent and all was beating them up and her being a demon, she never attacked him. I think that we have another story behind that. Or maybe he was a demon also? He made her a demon? No. Your brother is like you, you know, with the same ability. The master, does he know about it, you know? All of that story, that background? I think that he does. I bet. <laughs> I thought that this episode would be mostly about big fights and some flashbacks but I thought of Tokito flashbacks and maybe some from the Wilder and stuff like that. No, no, not at all. That was something. You never saw him eating. I think that it's because of that, you know, because of that ability, that demon thing. To explain that he can regenerate, that he can look like that during fights, you know, when he's not controlling his nerves or stuff like that. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm like that, you know. After an episode like that, I'm uh, not I'm exhausted, but I'm uh, I'm still frustrated about that end for sure. But I'm mostly, you know, with my emotions and with Genya and Sanemi. I'm not just considering Genya, you know, with this flashback. I'm really considering also Sanemi, all of what it meant for him. It has to be awful. But again, it's so well written. To write a backstory like that for these characters, it's so great. And it can justify, explain, and you can go deep with that, you know, for their ability. So cool. So, so cool. Tell me what did you think of it. For sure I'm gonna put the full action part on my Patreon. Like uh, I think that for this season 3, if they are continuing like that, I'm only gonna put full action parts. For sure the full action part on my Patreon. But yes, tell me what did you think of it. Please, I'm interested. It was big. Okay, it's all for me and for you for today. So it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Ah. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great.